<laughs> Mike, we got the tomahawk shop going right in our ear here. It's some of the best theater in college football, one of the great rivalries in sports. Lee, we're closing in on kickoff. Final thoughts. Well, for, because of the configuration of this stadium, if you're the Florida State coach, you want to be trying to go that way in the fourth quarter and try not to go that way with all those crazy people out there from Miami in the closed stadium. I don't know if you can hear it on there. I've played here a number of times. You cannot hear that into the end zone, and therefore, during close situations, you, you lose the chance to audibleize to get out of a bad play. Let's rumble, baby. <laughs> If it comes down to a kicker, keep in mind, both Dane Pruitt and Scott Bentley are having very solid seasons, but the Florida State punting game has been a little bit shaky. Back here at halftime, we'll send you upstairs now for the call and Ron Franklin. Ron. Thank you, Chris. The Orange Bowl, an open field where college football's greatest have sparred. Tonight, it's a battlefield. so much respect for those guys and they in turn have so much respect for us so the only way to go out there and talk is to go out there and play this game right here means our season for one and our pride and character we had to go through all the trash talking and stuff back in the days when they used to beat us but now florida state's the king of the hill our backs are to the wall right now and they're playing at home i mean we're just ready you know? definitely our biggest test for us you know we're going into a hostile environment down there at the Orange Bowl. This is the biggest game any sport I've ever played. I want it more than anything in the world right now. All the prep, all the talk, now ends tea time. They want respect. They can get it here tonight. The Hurricanes of Miami. Number 76. He is one of the finalists for the Vince Lombardi Award. He occupies a defensive tackle spot. The horse six speed. Play action again. It zings it. It is intercepted in the end zone. Malcolm Pearson. Said yesterday that they were going to play him a lot. Here's the interception on Danny Cannell, the first turnover for Florida State. See the double team right there, Carlos Jones, number 12. Money play to Danielle Ferguson. Breaks it open. Down to the 20-yard line. Clifton Abraham makes the stop for Florida State. An explanation for the sideline during the play. Fastest pass, Christy Jones. The pitch goes to Stewart, and he will walk it in. Knocks it home. So let's take a break. 7-11 left in this opening quarter. The Kane 7, the Seminoles nothing. Short game. Ray Lewis is there to step up and make the hit after a gain of a couple. Lewis, a sophomore out of Lakeland, Florida. Jones with a big breaker. Gets off a tackle outside the 30 and is finally pushed out of bounds. And let's check with Mike Tirico. Dry play this time. Ferguson. And Ferguson, who only weighs 195, he's six feet tall. Nice to Green. It holds on top. Under 10 minutes to play in the opening half. Pass intercepted in the flat. That's C.J. Richardson. And he's trying to get a convoy in front. One man. Can he beat Canal? Canal gets over and it helps stop the play.
C.J. Richardson's going to pick off a poorly thrown football to Melvin Pearsall. It's intercepted. C.J. Richardson now turns a field position mistake. Hurricane out of the end zone, and they run right at it. Five yards, kind of up at six, seven, and eight. Lobs it over the middle. It is caught. A.C. Tillerson. First and goal, Miami. And you can see what happened. Bush went for the interception. Defensive tackle Dwayne Johnson. He's majoring in general studies and has a 2-8. Sega congratulates these fine student athletes. And that's what they do. Stewart bounces outside, and he'll walk in. Fourteen, the Seminole fourteen. And Crockett, they try to send him straight ahead, and Warren Seth steps right up into the hole and says, "Nope, that's the end of it." And Kenny Holmes. Ron oh. Costas, boy, got a man right here, and just not picked him up. Unattended is Ferguson. Breaks another tackle and pushed out of bounds by Darrell Bush. Pass the far sideline, long throw, and that ball was caught. He posted it with one hand, and then Chris T. Jones brought it down with the other. What a catch. You're right, Ron. Chris T. Jones, really, Clifton Abraham kind of gave up on the play. He thought the catch was there. He thought the ball was dropped. Top receiver, Chris T. Jones, 85 on an out route. Frank Costa with a high throw. That's what they're going to do is spread it out. Now he throws the pass. Derek Harris with the touchdown. Time for maybe a couple of plays. Nope, they're going to go on one knee. Go to the locker room and talk it over. And the clock ticks down. And the Miami Hurricanes. That's the end of the first half with our score. Hurricanes 21 and team. Now let's join Mike Tirico for the halftime report. Done so far tonight. He's going to be hit by Sapp at the line of scrimmage and knocked down for no gain. In fact, he may have lost a little. He's having a career night, Warren Sapp. You and I have talked about best defensive lineman in the country. He may be it. Ellis Johnson of Florida is another one. But watch Warren Sapp play off. He made contact, read the block, and then slid to the outside to make the tackle on Zach Crockett. He gets off blocks very rapidly.
the sideline it's going to be picked off by Carlos Jones at the five and he will score from Nashville. And that is the end of the third quarter with our score. Miami 31 and Florida State 17. We'll be right back. This is incredible. They have jumped again, but Ferguson is off and running down the sideline and he's finally going to be caught by Todd Rebo. But they got him to jump for a seventh time. Ball is loose. Well, this defense from Miami, Greg McMack and the defensive coordinator has to be pleased with the effort of the defense tonight. Miami football. Pat Riley makes the recovery, and it was Lang who upset the cart. Just took too long to develop. That's one of the things, the wind-up and the big step to throw the ball. You can't do that against the defense this quick. Took too long. Now he starts to leave, start, starts to leave the pocket. Kennard Lang, number 96, with the hit. Just everywhere tonight. Eight tackles, quarterback sack and a half, two and a half pressures. And as a part of their continuing effort to further the development of amateur athletics, Visa is proud to donate $1,000 to each of these universities. Same for our entire ESPN crew. So long from Miami. Mike Tirico is 